All right. Oh, you are welcome to Alpo Swing Machine once again. In this video, I will be discussing how to pass industrial swing machine thread, that's email, the model 8500-8700-8800. And on this page, I will make sure I discuss it extensively. Now, uh, let me start. Let me start on this side. These are thread. We have different thread. You can use any thread. So now the first stage is you passing this side. You have to pass this hole here. If your machine is properly fixed. So if your machine is properly fixed, you have to pass this hole first. You can check my previous video that I upload. You see how you can couple this machine from the trash, everything. Now you couple the clutch motor, the edge, you fix the edge, everything is there. Now, majority of people are confused about how to fix this side. The only time you fix thread to this side is if your tension here, if your tension here is slack. So when the tension is slack, you make sure this one to make the thread more tight. But if you have a new tension, you don't need passing here. All you need to do is just to Put it in the hole here, like the straight hole here. You pass the others up. I want to make sure this video is as snappy as possible. You pass this side and you return it. Now, either you return it here or you don't return it. Any of it, just make sure you pass it properly. And now, this side is very important. I've seen tailors that just put the thread this way, whereby the thread will not enter in between these two plates. If your thread you don't enter in between these two plates, you will not pass the thread. You end up having excess thread underneath your sewing. Or if this place is slack, if this place is slack, your sewing will not be neat to have rough edges under. So you have to tighten this side a bit. It, though this side depends on the material you are sewing. If you are, if you are sewing a very thick material or a foamy material, you have to lose it a bit. But if your material is just a light one, you will tighten it because the size of the material to determine is how the material will consume thread. So after this side, you move it this way. Now there is this guy here. You must pass it to. After you pass that loop, you pass this side. Then you bring, you find your way down. Like I used to tell my customer, just find your way down. Just find your way down. So this side. And uh, let's uh, forget, let me tell you this guy yeah, I was explaining the other time. Now, this side of it, there are sometimes you notice your machine is cutting thread. If the thread is getting cut, like just as the thread will just cut anyhow, you're losing it. Now, if it's too loose, you have excess thread underneath your clothes. If it's too tight, you notice your thread is cutting. So, when your thread is cutting, you lose it a bit. When you have you're having excess thread underneath your clothes, you tighten it a bit, not that you tighten it as if you are throwing in a wheel spanner. No. So the last side of this threading part is you pass your thread from the left to right, not right to left, from left to right. If you try it from right to left, it will not work because that's now your machine is wired. So let me pass this. This size of uh, this size 14 thread needle sometimes it is very tiny for you to pass now i've seen tailors that remove this uh, safety guide just to save your hands people remove it while some just leave it there any of it you choose just put it there so that's one part of it the other part of it normally i should not open the machine but because of this video normally i should just put my hand this way but because of this video and i want you to have a proper understanding of it that's why i'm opening it this way you bring out this short tool. Majority of us don't know how to pass the short tool either. So, this is the short tool. This is the thread. You place it in this direction. You can see my direction. Then focus on this side. You can, if you notice, there's a space here, but you are still coming here. So you focus on this side and you bring it out this way. When you bring it out this way, you are done passing the short tool. So after the short tool. This side is to face up. You are not allowed to pass it this way. You are not allowed to pass it this way. It's to face now. If you notice, I'm fixing the machine like this. Adding with the machine is this side, and I'm taking my hand down. 
this is how it was fixed up. So when it's face up, when it's facing up, you, immediately you're putting it there, you notice that it's a click, like it gives you a sound. That sound is important. If the sound, that sound will not come out, then you've not properly fixed your shot. Too. So the sound will come, and after that, all you just need to do is to bring your tray out and your machine to start sewing. Thank you very much for subscribing to our channel, and please help me to do a very good job by sharing it to your contact list, either your WhatsApp, your pages, your blog pages. I'm very grateful. Check my next videos. I'll talk about the stitches. I'll talk about the speed of the machine and other stuff that are very important for you. Thank you very much.